So you may have heard of the phrase dry January a lot recently, but what is it? Our Caroline Hogan joins us right now in the studio. Caroline, I know you talked to a brewery and is dry January hard on their business at all? Sarah most definitely is. Those first two months, January and February, are already hard. But at Diametric Brewing, the owner told me that zero-proof cocktails, they only make up a small percentage of their sales. But that doesn't mean that those who want to participate in dry January can't have some fun too. Diametric wanted to make sure that their zero-proof cocktails give that alcohol taste, that burn in the back of your throat, so that it's just not another soda or Shirley Temple. There's, there's a lot of flavor to the actual alcohol compound, so you got to there's some te techniques and stuff you got to use to counterbalance that gives them the opportunity to experience the full offering without having to uh, deal with the alcohol part of it. Yeah. And in case you're interested in what it tastes like, here's a look at how to actually make one. Basically, you'll want to start with a shaker glass. Um, with two ounces of your, your non-alcoholic whiskey of choice. There's a lot of science that goes behind how do you create something that tastes like it has alcohol but doesn't have alcohol. I got three quarter ounce of some fresh uh, pressed lemon juice. And we got three quarter ounce of a, a honey-based simple syrup, so equal parts honey and water and with a couple cinnamon sticks. And we're just going to shake that. Strain it into our glass. And then for a little bit of bubbles, we add some sparkling cider. Take our apple and cut a little slice out of that. A little apple for garnish, our cinnamon. And then just because you kind of have to have a stir stick. Mm. Big Appreciate thumbs up it. to that. Big thumbs up to that. <laughs> it really did taste good. <laughs> and it's really simple. It's stuff that you might already have in your pantry right now. So Sarah, it's really just, you know, something to keep in mind when you're Absolutely. doing dry January or well, if you're doing it. I am doing dry January. Wonderful. Yes, it's going very well. I need to try that cocktail. Yeah, you should. So if other people want to join in on this, um, can, can they still do it even though we're like halfway through the month? Absolutely. So I actually talked to a fitness instructor and he said you could do this all year round, even on a smaller scale, maybe two or three weeks and just see how you feel. You can do it with caffeine, dairy, yeah. alcohol, really anything. Yeah, it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard in the long run. You can do it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sarah, thanks. <laughs>